Welcome back Osborne Creative Studios fans, Matthew Osborne here and today I want to walk you through a really cool request build I did recently. Now you probably had seen, I seen my YouTube channel of people requesting me to do puppets and, I, and someone asked if I do Charlie Brown. On the side note, side note here, someone did ask me to do Spider-Man, but I found out that with all the variety of colors that Spider-Man suit wears, I thought that would just be a little too complicated to build. So he said, instead, why not just do uh, Charlie Brown? So I am. So I just put it to the test. So anyway, let's jump into the build. So for starters, I am actually going to be using some standard size puppet pads. I'm using the body pattern and, and I'm using the body pattern from another main tutorial series I made called the Medium Shape. Which is from my monster series. You can check that out on my YouTube channel too. And also, it has my guide to puppetry one it's in my guide to puppetry 101 book. In case you want to make a monster series like that. So anyway, I just simply trace the foam out and then start cutting it out. And as always, after when I cut it out, I use some contact cement to glue this on. And and you must be in a well ventilated area when using this because it creates fumes and the fumes are not healthy for your lungs. So anyway, I just glue all around the edges of the head. And I just begin putting glue on the body. Then as always after when the glue is tacky then I simply apply pieces together for the head and body too. And, and here I am just doing the fabric covering. Then a couple things that stood out to me making this puppet. One was the clothing which I was going to figure out how I was, I was supposed to do it, but you'll see in the video on how I did that after when I get all the fleece body from head to toe finish. Then I just, then after when I get done tracing the first step, I flip it over and then trace it out again and then cut it out. As always, after when I get done tracing it and I just sit down and cut it out with some scissors. As you saw, I was stumbling with the tracing because it kept my table kept moving. But once when I get it cut it out, it'll it'll be fine. And as always I pin it first. Pin all the pin the darts together first before it then after when I have pin the darts together, then I stitch it up on my sewing machine. Then after that, then I move on to the other seams. Make sure if you're sewing this on a sewing machine, to make sure to have a, some seam allowance before stitching it on. Because, and also make sure that you use, you use safety pins for, because so that way your puppet can come together very even. Because if you take it out of the sewing machine, it's not going to look pretty. It'll look uneven. And as always, I use plastic for my mouth plates. And I touch them up with some sandpaper just to get them so that the glue can secure. So that they can secure the glue. And here's the most. And this is the most tedious part of making the puppet, is the foam hands. Making the, or I'm 
mean making the hands for the puppet. And here I am using a different hand pattern. And this is the hand pattern for, from a tutorial that you may be familiar with, the fried frog tutorial. I thought this would be the right size for a Charlie Brown shape since Charlie Brown has a bit of noodle arms in him. So then I simply go ahead and then cut these foam hands out. Now uh, here I am attaching the arms and, and I am using dull joints for this instead of stitching it on. And, and I, as for the hands, I recently discovered that you have to have a snug fit. And the, and the hardest part was stuffing the foam hands in and getting all the wire in there. And you must, and you gotta have like a snug fit. If it's too, better to be too snug than to be too loose. Then, then that. And here I am attaching the limbs to the dull joint. And I have a dedicated video on how to use dull joints from my monster series as well. Now we're doing the clo now I'm doing the clothing puppet. And I'm just marking since if you look at that photo of Charlie Brown, his jacket is, is just a dress or not jacket, just a dress shirt. simply trace it out then start stitching it stitching it on my sewing machine quickly here I am adding the black lining Charlie Brown's Brown's uh, shirt since he wears black and yellow with a yellow long stripe, and, I, and looking at it, I'm just kind of look use, use the picture as a guide for myself. After when I get it all sewn up, then I just simply cut it out. And here I'm just gluing the first half of the black stripes, and I'm gluing it with some fabric tape. Glue. This is three and one. You can use any kind of fabric glue you like. And, you, and then after when I get done gluing that, then I repeat, do and repeat for the back side of the shirt again. And the, and if you really and I left this seam of the shirt open just so that way it can fit. Well, when the pup is finished, when the puppet is finished, here I'm just fitting it onto the puppet, just putting it on the puppet, fitting it onto the puppet. Now I am gluing on the button, since his shirt is a button shirt, as I mentioned that he had, and just using like a plain old white button, and just gluing it, tacking it down with fabric tack.
straight hair. Just very iconic for a puppet. For a puppet to have. So I can simply cut it out and then glue it together. Then I just glued the hair down. Now I'm just adding the facial features. And here he is. And here he is. I think you came out really good. Yeah, you sure got me good on this project. Well, does this, do you want to go catch some football? No way! I'll land on my back and You'll make me run on my back and I'll kill myself! Oh, brother. With this design, I think he came out pretty well, too. A couple things I would have changed is I would have used, like, actual brown hair, brown felt, flip felt. I would have bought a yellow shirt like that off the rack and just simply just draw the lines on with a sharpie marker, but after all, I think he came out well. Let's go do some football. No way! You'll make me lay on my back and kill myself! When I run at the football, you'll pull it away and I'll lay on my back and kill myself! <laughs> oh, brother. We'll see you next time.